My name is Zach Mowitz. I'm a cellist from Princeton, New Jersey, and I currently live in London. I started playing cello around the age of four and a half. I didn't have this burning desire to play the cello as a kid. I already assumed that I would play something because my dad's a composer and my brother uh, was a violinist. Uh, but basically, my dad chose it for me. I first got really serious about being a cellist around the age of 12. I started studying with a new teacher, and in the first lesson, he told me that I needed to practice at least three hours every day. From then on, I realized that if I wanted to be serious, and if I really wanted to show how much I loved the music to the people I was playing for, then I had to back it up with the work. One of the most exciting and touching memories from my childhood of music was when I heard Schubert's cello quintet for the first time. Uh, this was at the Greenwood Music Camp. It's uh, this small music camp in the Berkshires in Massachusetts that I went to for like six years. And you go and you're barefoot the whole time, you uh, perform in a barn, and you're wearing all white. And I remember hearing this performance by the faculty and getting goosebumps for the first time uh, from a piece of music. I didn't realize that sound going inside your ears could cause this physical and emotional reaction all in one. Every young musician yearns to go to the Curtis Institute of Music. I was one of them. Curtis has the lowest acceptance rate of any institution in the world. When I actually got into Curtis, I couldn't believe it. But of course, the moment I went, it felt like the most welcoming and friendly environment that anybody could envision. And Curtis is where I met my good friend and colleague, Nick DiBerardino. When I graduated from Curtis, a kind of surprise landed in my lap. I ended up spending a year in the Indianapolis Symphony, and I decided uh, at the end of that year that I still wanted to study a little bit more. At that point, I went to Europe, uh, and I went to study with uh, Gary Hoffman at the Queen Elizabeth Music Chapelle. At the Chapelle, I had the privilege of working with Gary Hoffman, but maybe even more importantly, I was exposed to this new attitude towards the arts. I used to think that playing music for music's sake was enough. It was for me and still is, but in recent years I've realized that it'd be a shame not to do more. Especially since working with my colleague Nick DiBerardino, I've seen that music can tell stories when put in the right context.